Oh, no, he hid. He ran away. He's a fool. He's a fool of a took. He's not a fool, actually. That was a very smart play. I didn't expect it. The armies of je jealous civilizations fail to stop our people. The religious emergency dissolves in recrimination and blame. Oh, it's because they didn't get any turns. Yes. Spouse was killed during the mission in the city of Kyoto. Your opponent has lost respect for us. Bedisa was killed in the city of Kyoto. How dare you? You win. The target's religion releases a burst of pressure in all nearby cities. Whoa! Stop it! I mean, you're not a threat, but... Oh, I probably used a proselytizer and everything. Seems it, anyway. That's rude. That is very rude. Here we go. Here we go. Right. We're gonna... We're gonna... Here we go. That's a lot of spreads, but it's fine. So, we can do 800 a turn. We might even take it next turn, you know. Hmm. Yeah, we're just going to keep pumping out missionaries. Obviously, apostles would work out better if we had... If we weren't just trying to take the cities. Because we'd also be able to use them to spread. Oh, there we go. I don't mind. You can you can wait in there. I'll just I'll just pull them back when I need them. It's fine. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Two more. I think we're good. I don't know if half counts, but. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're just gonna need to keep keep on sending missionaries round. We're gonna need to send another down here at least. Um I think. Yeah, yeah, we will. At least one. Plus 16 pressure it's receiving. I think if we take that. Yeah, that's going to be strong. J Jakarta is only receiving our religion. What is it? Oh, yeah, because we removed the rest of it, didn't we? Yeah, that's why. It's like she's not even fighting back anymore. Hmm. Alright. Strong, mate. Strong. Right. Again, we're going to just keep doing holy site prayers because we're, we're smashing it. Um, Over here. Yeah, we'll just build a seaport. Why not? I think this is one we send all the way back home, as is this, because he's weak. Just checking that they're not a debater. Right, that's surrounded by six, yeah? Okay, there we go. You are ready for the fight again. As are you. You can go here. Are you full health? 
You are? Step back here. Sleep. Sleepy time. Oh. Something's changed. Probably they're probably doing what I'm what I'm doing, which is a uh, holy site prayers. Maybe. It's okay. It's okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. He should probably use all his spreads in there, just, just so he doesn't lose his Inquisitor. I mean, he could heal. He might go to the Holy Site, innit? He might do. Hmm. Alright, if I... Let's do it. Let's let's make the most of them. He's not gonna fully die, though, is he? Nah, he's not high enough health. If he takes a hit from the Inquisitor, it's over. Let's just send them back in it. Let's make it. Let's make them fight to hold on to their lands. This is the rule. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm okay. Too ban. Or not too ban. All right. You're done. Um, now we just we just hold this position until he decides to attack and probably do too much damage. All right, let's see, let's see. We have okay. He needs healing. One, two, three, four. We have one, two spaces left. So, bam, and, all right, bam, yeah, sweet, right, he's probably going to end up going home at this rate, but we're going to, we're actually going to do this, he is a, he is, does have plus 20, so he is a deb debater, probably would have been more useful to heal, but whatever. Get rid of the Guru. No longer a threat. If the Apostle dies, he dies. Worthy cause, I'd say. Get that. And... Ooh. Okay. I think overall, we're in a good spot. Happy to sit. No, you're, you're serious. I only needed to move to move you there, but you decided to go a long way round instead. Fool of a took. Fool of a took. Right. I think... These are all done. I'll send you this way just so you can keep an eye on them. They're not, they're not even asked about these. They're not bothered. That's uh, lovely. Lovely jubbly. I don't want to be at war. <laughs> I really don't. Yeah, we can get out here. Surely. 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 And off we go. Off we pop. 
Yeah, there we go. Knew that would, knew that would happen. Hmm. Wait, what? Special World Congress? Pedro... No. We're at war. No. It's targeted by an aggressive enemy. We should fund their defences. No. I'm going to put two in for no. Um, does anyone else stand a chance later on? No. So, you know what? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Can we vote for? Two diplomatic victory points. But no, it's Pedro. We don't need we don't we don't need him. We don't need him. Plus. Who voted for? Guitar uh... She's at war with him! Like, it's, it can't be against me. <laughs> it can't be declaring war against me, innit? it? Can't be. <laughs> no, they're not. So it's fine. Success. Great person. Oh, yes. Great engineer. We'll take it. This, this district's regional buildings provide plus one amenity. This district's regional buildings reach three tiles further. So, could put it in... Industrial zone. I don't know if it matters what districts it was. It was put, they were put in, but yeah, I want it in in an industrial zone most likely. Oh no, wait, it's amenities, isn't it? So maybe it has to be, yeah, these. Maybe. 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 Yeah, looks like it. Let's read it. This is. Oh, it must be completed on entertainment complex. Yeah, that's right. Fine. Okay. That's fine. We are. Oh, no, we got we got the golden age. So, in thirteen turns, if the game isn't over, we will get the golden age. Lovely. Wait. Oh, I thought I thought it gave me a point. Diplomatic point. But clearly it didn't. So, yeah, that's fine. It's fine. Um, do we need a sewer? Or do we just... Holy sight. Holy sight. Prayers. Yeah. All day. All day. And... Yes, yeah, send you guys back to the homeland. Get out. Get out. Get out. I don't want to be at war with him. And now we can make peace. Wait. Go away. Go away. Nah. 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 Leave. 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 <laughs> Rude, man. Rude. Right. Let's see. Oh yeah, sweet. Um We can actually move you round now. Cuz we're going to use you here. Ah, oh, sweet, 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 sweet. Should we send one back? Ah, oh, actually. Just gonna use you. For the pure reason that we might lose it soon. Hinduism, man. It's become strong in that city. It's not acceptable. Oh my god, who's done that? Everyone's been spread into it by the looks of it. We know who. 
We definitely know who. And that's unacceptable. Guitar here. Unacceptable. So, right, we have one, two, three. And four, five, six. Yeah, if we can get here soon. Let's see, let's see, let's see. <sighs> right, we're going to have to step back, I think, with you. I don't mind. All right. Um, replace with you. And we're going to send this guy up here to assist. And this guy goes round. Hmm. Let's think about this. Yeah, if we can get enough round there, we could take it in a few turns, probably. Oh. We're right on the verge. It'd take one turn to take it. So. Spread once. What about here? Not long at all. We're slowly pushing in, and I don't think she likes it. Not one bit. Oh, 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 yes. <laughs> yes. We drew her out, and that's exactly what we need. Mm-hmm. wish we could have attacked him then, but nah, apparently not. Let's get these up here, because if we can take this city, which it looks like we can, because we have so many of these now, so many. Oh mate, this is, this is going to be done soon. Very soon. Yeah. Yeah. We like it. We could actually finish it off with the spreads of the apostles. But. Hmm. Is that the best idea? Probably not. Now let's see. Finish you off I guess. It's basically a free spread. Please finish him. Once again, I say please finish him. <laughs> yes. Free spread in loads of cities as well. Not just not just one or two. Loads. Like four or five. Great, mate. Great. Yeah, we're close. Um, we need... Two more followers to match her. So probably about three or four spreads. Got that. Got them right now. Obviously, we might need to send another missionary that way, which is fine. Completely fine. They're the easy ones to take. One, two, three. This will be ours. This might be ours soon as well. I'm. Wait. So, one, two, three, four, let's say. Five, six, seven, eight potential nine. I like it. I like it a lot. Love it. As she she better not settle another city. <laughs> Obviously it probably won't have a religion in it, so it's fine, but still. Love it. Love it. Alright. They're coming back. Round two. We might not need to. We've pretty much held them off, so. 
So as long as... I mean, we could send some apostles up here to annoy these. In fact, that's what these can do. Love it. Love it. Send them all out. Don't even wait, I guess. Right, unit needs orders. Um, I think this is one that needs to go home to heal. Yeah. Good plan. Good plan. Hmm. Oh no. Oh no. Oh wait. She's losing that. Oh, that's killer. She knows. She knows it's game over if she doesn't do something. One day there will be no borders, no boundaries. Yeah, I don't really unless unless it's religious combat, then I don't really think we need to change anything. Maybe maybe a military card or something, but nah. Probably not. There we go. Got him away. Got him away. Oh, love it. Alright. Take you. Then Gelgul will be ours soon. You can catch up. And then we'll probably take this. Obviously, he kind of needs to heal. But he's not in a good situation to. Hmm. <sighs> Wait. They're both weak. Ah, it's because he was coming over to save the day. Hmm. Alright, sweet. Um, holy Sight Prayers. Holy Sight Prayers. What can we do here? There's not really much else that needs doing. We've got seven turns, so can we beat it in seven turns? Probably not, but... Should we... I mean, no harm in having some military. <laughs> A bit late now, but still. Um... Do we need... Who do we... You know, I don't really, I don't really know. Do we just save it? Or maybe Moksha? Heal all units in one turn? I'll just save it. We don't really, really need anyone right now. Um. Oh yeah, we built another builder. What do we even need? I guess I guess we could improve these for whatever reason. Oh my god, half our city's sunk. <laughs> it's quite funny to be fair. Right. Keep sending them over, I guess. That way, if they even decide to do to to remove my religion, then it's fine because we'll just take it back straight away. And you know what? Yeah, these will be the better ones to take. It'll be easier, I think. Right.
Right, right, right. Here we go. Yes, yes. We have a basic need to believe in something greater than ourselves. We crave solace in the darkness and light unto our path. Thanks to you, we found meaning amid the cosmos. So there we go. We actually did it in, with a religious victory. After all that, we thought we were going to win a diplomatic victory, but in the end, we decided, no, no, we're going we're gonna to beat that time. <laughs> Even though it did, it, this was probably the longest game I've played in a long time because I'm not very skilled at religious victories. I, in fact, I don't think I've ever done one before. So, yeah, we did all right. Yeah, I don't, I didn't know the religious units that well. So, actually using them properly, I think. I think I used them properly, not just building loads of missionaries and hoping for the best. But yeah, I think I think we did well. Like, not much to complain about. Anyway, like, where are, are we even on here? Wait. What's our name? Tamar. Does it say Tamar? Ahsoka. Ahsoka Tano. Oh, wait, what was our score? Does it say? Wait, does it say our score? Maybe, maybe this is where where we were. Let us be firm, pure, and faithful. At the end of our sorrow, there is the greatest glory of the world, that of me that of the men who did not give in. That of the men who did not give in. New timeline. Oh yeah. Okay. So wait. If we view timeline, we can probably see our score. No, not. I don't know. Um. So where are we? We're white. Buildings constructed. Pretty steady. What else have we got? Cities captured. None. Wait. Oh no. We took one. We took... <laughs> Muscat. <laughs> we didn't deserve it though. <laughs> Cities founded. Pretty low on that end. Cities lost. None. It wasn't really a war game at all. Which is probably why... Well... We were at war the whole game, pretty much, but that's not the point. <laughs> Dis districts constructed. Pretty average. Number of combats. It rose at the end, I think. You know, wars declared. Alright. Oh. Tamiris. Yeah, that goes without saying. It's, apparently I declared a war, but I don't remember doing that. I mean, I declared one against uh, the city-state, Muscat. I remember doing that, but I don't remember declaring that last war. Wonders constructed. I'm sure I constructed like three or four. Yeah, it's like four. Um, what else? Units killed. I killed. No way did I kill the most units in the game. <laughs> AI is poo. Units lost. See, that's how you win games. You lose very few units, and you kill a lot of units. Who's red? It's higher. Does it wait? Does it count religious units? Because if it does, that makes more sense. War declarations received. Wait, Hojo. Huh. No wonder he's declaring war on everyone. He was he was angry. He was annoyed. Total religions founded. Obviously, yeah, I was the first. Loving it. Loving it. Total governors. Yeah, we decided just... Yeah, no. Player score. So, yeah, we're about 1,200. Yeah, okay. So, when the text is under it, that's yours. Not that I care about score, but still. What does the export timeline do? Ooh. Nice. Nice. Okay. So, we're just going to have a quick look around the map, actually. <laughs> just reminisce quickly. So, overall, it was a very, very strong 
an interesting game. Not a very strong game for us in the fact that we had to catch up on science most of the game. But once we got to around 300 science, we were sitting comfortable. Oh, I didn't mean that. But, yeah, we killed Buddhism early, which actually set us up for a really good game. At first, it felt like a mistake to maybe focus too much on him because Gataya was just sending missionary after missionary. Then we got Inquisitors out, and then them missionaries were not a problem whatsoever. So I think, I think we did well. These two cities were actually important. Whether, even though they didn't do much, I think just stopping her from having cities here, because that would have meant she had more cities, but then again, if I spread my religion to these two cities, as well as these two, it would have been over quicker. But yeah, that's fine. Like, obviously we didn't have to completely take over all her cities with our religion, but did good. Did good. I'm 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 impressed. I'm impressed. In the end, it actually It was actually a really good game. Even though it gave me so many headaches. So What? Catholicism? Catholicism? Are you mad? Get out. Get out. We 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 cannot be having that entire. No, unacceptable. Yeah, he probably had a rogue missionary left. But yeah, these, like, this was a great idea to take. They just, one, once once I started killing the units, there was just nothing that could be done. Because that, taking these, opened up the option to go over here, where there was almost no apostles. There was none of them. Because I knew the hardest person to kill was going to be Katai. Oh, she did get one out as well. She was trying. She was trying desperately. But that would have become mine as well, I think. Yeah, converts in 17 turns. She would have killed herself. Yeah, that's that's pretty interesting. Almost got this. But yeah, that's... That's it. That's... <laughs> We were just pumping out unit after unit. We had so much faith. We don't know. We didn't know what to do with. Loving it. Laventa was. It was a shame. We, Laventa got lost. But I think Japan would have tried to capture it if Budapest didn't. Budapest, Hungary. <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. We did it. I actually thought the game was lost. For a significant portion of the game, I thought we had lost it. I thought it had gotten away from us. There were times when I thought we were going to lose Muscat. And then, if we lost Muscat, I think we would have lost more. Maybe Potty. If we lost Batami, we were done. <laughs> because then these were gone. Through loyalty. Most likely. And obviously, they kept walking in here, thinking, I'm going to be scared. No, I can just pump units out quickly from here and build walls, and then what are you going to do? Even the modern armor wasn't enough once we got this. Giant death robot broke the game. That's that's unfair. Just genuinely unfair. It breaks the game. If you want the game to be challenging, I guess a giant death robot isn't, isn't what you need in the game. Unless you're facing them. Maybe, maybe if you want to make the game more challenging. Say it, just make a rule that you cannot use them. But yeah, we, we would have a golden age in the next era as well. But overall, I'd say Georgia were not the right Civ to play. <laughs> they were very... I don't really think we used many of the bonuses, if any. We didn't We didn't declare a protector at war once, even though we had opportunities to, but we weren't, we weren't that... We weren't even near to Japan on science. So, yeah, that wasn't going to happen. Making dedications at the beginning of Golden Heroic Age. Yeah, that's the one we wanted to make use of a lot, but we ended up in Dark Ages quite a couple, like a couple of times. I think we ended up in two in a row. But then we got a Heroic Age, and then... Oh yeah, this is our Heroic Age now. Then the next era would be a Golden Age. Yeah, we got a Golden Age in the Classical Era. Then we went through two Dark Ages in a row. Oh, wait. We went through a gold... Yeah, 
Normal Age, Golden Age in the Classical Era. And then... I think we, I think we got a Normal Age in Medieval. And then Renaissance Industrial with Dark Ages. <laughs> Not too good. Seekies actually aren't that bad, to be honest. I'd say, because they give extra faith, if you're building the faith economy, it works out really well. Plus, the extra defenses are always nice. They're always welcome. They cost less as well, which means you're not spending as much on walls. But you do need to already have had the other two tiers of walls. So, I don't know. I'd say Tzikis are actually better than I think people give them credit for. But as a unique building, they're probably not as good as other civs. Kev's a pretty hit and miss. You, I mean, if you've got a lot of hills around you, yeah, pretty good. But compare that to other units, such as the Samurai, and just any other unit around that time, and I think they get destroyed. They're not good enough. Because you need to be in a hill to get that plus 7 combat strength, and it's just not worth it. The no movement penalty in hills is kind of ruined by the fact that a lot of hills have rainforests and woods. If you clear them all, great. Then you can move quickly, but that's in your own lands. Because you can't clear them everywhere. So it really depends where you start and where you're moving into. You're never going to go for a combat victory, a domination victory with them. Because Kevsas are not good enough. I mean, you could go for a domination victory with Georgia. No problem. But you'd be swimming against the tide. I think the best victories they can go for are religious or diplomatic. And that's that's about it, really. That's all the bonuses really support. Gaining envoys and faith. So you can combine faith and envoys, maybe. Like, pretty much what we did. We almost got a diplomatic victory. And we almost got... Well, we did. We ended up getting the faith victory. The religious victory. So, it worked out. Now, I've been rambling on for probably a few minutes now as I just feel like talking about the game. I hope you don't mind. But I, I like looking around the map and seeing what's what. Maybe I could find a mod that allows me to zoom out more. I haven't used any mods on Civ 6 yet. But it would be interesting to try some mods out. Leventus 24 population. That is crazy. That is that is mad. What's our highest? 17, probably. Um, yeah, I think 17. It's usually the capital for me. But other civs always seem to have a higher population. So 24 is the highest we've seen. I just want to see which is the highest population in the game. I'm sorry if you're not interested in this. If you're not interested in this, please leave a like before you before you run away. <laughs> please consider subscribing if you aren't already. <laughs> and leave a comment telling me what you think. Or telling me not to do this at the end of games, even though I actually I'm just I'm just I'm just glad we won. <laughs> just glad we won. I think I think Pedro kind of fell off towards the end, which meant, yeah, yeah. Science victory, Pedro was second. He was going for too many victories, for too many types, I think. Religious victory, like, diplomatic victory is not going out, out of our way whatsoever. It's probably actually one of the easier victories if you know how it works, which I, I don't, like... This is the first time I've even had a taste of getting close to a diplomatic victory because I've never tried. But yeah, I think I think it's, it'd be very possible. Like maybe we could try a diplomatic victory of, with a Civ that has no bonuses towards them. Tamar has envoy bonuses, and our religion was actually geared towards envoys in a way. I don't even remember what bonuses we had because we weren't using them. So. Warrior Monks. Yeah, Warrior Monks was a waste. I would not recommend on Deity whatsoever. What's this? We have six Inquisitors, 26 Apostles, and 12 Missionaries. Is that right now? <laughs> or, or ever? That's, that's, that's crazy. I can't. Alright, it doesn't... 
Yeah. It's just us. We have no gurus left. <laughs> so, right. So the other strongest was Hinduism. Hinduism was a problem. They didn't even have the last belief. They had Watts. Jesui. Education. Which is May Purchase Campus and Theatre Square District Buildings with Faith, which is probably where all their faith went in the end. Defender of the Faith. Combat units gain plus five combat strength when within the borders of friendly cities. That is why they were so strong. Okay. Defender of the Faith. God tier. That's what I'm saying. God tier. Because I could not fight them early on. Couldn't. Could not whatsoever. Missionaries and Apostles are 30% cheaper. That could really be good. Plus two faith for each city following this religion. Eh, it's okay. Like, I didn't I don't remember seeing much of this religion, to be honest. I Honestly I don't. I remember these three. I don't really remember this one. Was this already dead by the time we got to it? Wait, 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 wait. That was Scythia's. Oh yeah. That was that was easy. That was the easiest one. This one was pretty difficult. When you send an envoy to a city state, it adds 200 religious pressure. I actually, I considered doing that. Did I not pick that? My religion. Oh, plus one envoy to each city state when it adopts this religion. In addition to an envoy from a city, city state quest. Free envoys. I actually like it. I don't think it's very strong, but I like it. Scripture probably just helped overall. Mosques. I'd say mosques are probably the best building if you're going for a religious victory. But this plus one envoy using Georgia, I think, is... I think this is a very good option for Georgia because you want them envoys and you want to spread a religion. Even if you're not going for a religious victory, I think it's good. It's definitely good for diplomatic victory to have more envoys. Feed the world... It was okay. I don't think it, that's a great religion, but he caused me an issue at the beginning. Oh, extra production from marshes, oases, and deserts. Desert floodplains. I could have used that, actually. That would have been pretty good. Um, yeah, Defender of the Faith would definitely recommend. I think looks really good. Yeah. So enough of that. I just wanted to find the biggest city, the largest city. So 24 Leventa. All right. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's any of these ones. She decided to take most of my desert. Cheeky, cheeky she was. Right. So. Wait, I wasn't looking down here. I know these were pretty big for a lot of the game. 23. So Leventa might actually be the biggest city. I did steal some of its tiles before it could grow too big. Kinda. Bought them. Right, yeah, it looks like Leventa is the biggest city. By one population. Second is 23. So, yeah, if we got hold of Leventa, we might have had a huge powerhouse on our hands. All that food, man. I don't think I really improved as many of the tiles as I could. But that's fine. But yeah, I think... That is everything <laughs> we're going to do at the end of this game. Even though we probably would get Banton for free at some point. As long as we keep the Golden Ages up. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. But yeah, I'm going to leave you with an overhead view of Tbilisi. And I'm going to say my goodbyes. If you've enjoyed this series so far and would like to see more, Please leave a like and a comment letting me know what sieves you'd like to see or what other type of thing you'd like to see. Because I'm I'm interested to hear interested to hear your thoughts because I don't really hear much. I don't get that many comments. So it would be it would be nice to hear from some people. And as always, this was Mikey Avelli. Signing out. <laughs>